And how you guys doing? Welcome to this edition of Motorcycle Madhouse. Morning mayhem, baby. It is Tuesday out there. And well, it depends. If you're overseas, I think it's like Wednesday or something. I don't know how the hell the time goes over there. Don't ask me. How you guys doing over on WMMRDB, baby? Yes, we are uh, live casting on the V Radio Show right now. You can actually catch us over on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, we're on D Live right now, even though it says unable to connect. So what the hell good are you? Why do I even have that? Anyway, uh, the second part of the show is exclusively over on WMMRDB. That is where uh, you get a lot of tunes, baby. A lot of tunes with me talking about some other stuff. A lot of people are enjoying that. And I hit the camera over on Discord. Oh, China Doll is upset with Hollywood. Man, is she upset with me. It's like she wants to kick me right in the ding ding. She wants to kill me. I have to make sure that I sleep with one eye open with her, man. I really do. Because yesterday, she's taking a bath and stuff like that. I'm over here doing my thing, prepping shows and stuff. And she comes in here. With a just a towel on, okay, just a towel on, all smiley and all freaking nasty looking, man. Like she wants to get, mm, mm, mm. she wanted to get pounded. Woo. Nasty thoughts. Anyway, she just drops that towel, drops it right in front of Hollywood. And I look at her, what do you want? Well, you know, she got that smile on her face and stuff. Well, what do you want? What do you want from Hollywood? She points down at the hoo-ha. I said, okay, yeah, it looks like a hoo-ha to me. What, what are you getting at? And she's getting more upset, more upset, more upset. And she points down there and says, give me some. It's hungry. It's growling. I said, stop right there. Do you remember when you threw a shovel at Hollywood's truck? Do you remember when you left it running for over an hour? And do you remember letting the door hit your car? I said, there ain't none of that. You ain't getting nothing. I told you not to mess with my Silverado. And look what you did. You don't get nothing for six months. You're on punishment from Hollywood's PP. And her mouth freaking dropped. Her eyeballs got bigger than a damn frog getting chased by a freaking boa conda, baby. And she couldn't believe what she was hearing. Hey, Hollywood has principles. You don't mess with my bike. You don't mess with my truck. That is the order. You got to keep order in this life. So she picks up the towel. And like every woman does, when they walking away, they swearing at you, cussing you out. So I think she's pretty upset with Hollywood. Oh boy, oh boy, I think she's pissed. She didn't talk to me all day. All day, I didn't get it. Hey, how you doing? Fuck you. Any of that stuff. Oh, not PC right there. Didn't get none of it. So yeah, we're going to be live on two nights Hollywood and China now. And now we'll probably be talking about that. Oh, keep on trucking. I'm not worried about her cutting me off. I got a hand, man. I'll beat that sucker like it owes me money. No problems for me. None. I don't see any issues. But when you mess with Hollywood's freaking truck, all bets are off. That is the twin sister of my bike. 
You can't mess with my ladies. It just can't happen. It's not allowed. I don't care if you threw two of you in front of me. You still ain't getting Hollywood's pecker. You have me upset for touching my truck. Women have to learn. Bikes and trucks are sacred. They're not to be messed with. There's ramifications if you mess with them. Anyway, I was sitting there and talking about PC. How you doing in Facebook, Nate, and all that? I'm talking about PC now, okay? They canceled the Muppets. Can you believe they canceled the Muppets? Disney is putting a disclaimer on the Muppets. You know, Kermit the Frog. That pig. Miss Porky. They're putting disclaimers because there's some episodes of Johnny Cash, baby, singing in front of the Confederate flag. What in the hell has happened in this country? They are going crazy. They are taking crazy pills. This is insanity. And you're wondering why I went and got my own platform. I'm a radio guy anyway. I'm not too good looking. So radio fits me perfect. They're trying to cancel everybody. It's insane. You freaking lefties have gone nuts. Canceling the Muppets. What's wrong with you? That's some of the best entertainment when you're on 420. I'm talking the best. How you doing, Susan? I get high. Now that and Scooby-Doo. You'll notice I got a dedication to Tom and Jerry on my shirt today. The new Tom and Jerry uh, movie's coming out. Woo, 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 I can't wait. So, 420. You get all smoked up. You watch the Muppets. You see Kurt, Kermit chasing Miss Piggy. Trying to get him some pork. It's a good show when you're high. You have to be high, though. I can't watch it straight. Then you got Tom and Jerry. Then you got Scooby-Doo. You can't cancel these. You already hit Yosemite Sam. This is why we got a bunch of wimps in this generation's coming up, man. Feel sorry for you kids. My God, you guys couldn't make it through the uh, 70s and 80s. Not when I came up. Nope, nope, nope. From a little dumpling all the way up to now, you couldn't do it in the 80s. I was watching Bustin' Loose last night. Got off the Discord server. Uh, went, chilled, light a little freaking 420 up. Girl Scout cookies, by the way. Woo-hoo, did Hollywood get high. Higher than I did on that one show. And yeah, China stayed away from me after work. <laughs> she like, you know what? You didn't give me any tongue, man. I ain't giving you shit. Okay, I'll just go beat it. That's the way it works. I get it. It happens. So anyway, I'm watching Bustin' Loose. Richard Pryor. Could you imagine how these lefties would have looked on some of the movies back in 80? I think Bustin' Loose was 81 and stuff. You know, when Richard Pryor goes and drives all them squealy kids around? Yeah, that one. He's swearing and going nuts. Ape shit, man. <laughs> Same state of affairs, I say it is now. Canceling the Muppets. You're crazy. Anyway, uh, I believe it was Randy that asked us about uh, our Sunday show. Uh, I'm not doing that one over on YouTube anymore. That one will be on the radio and in Discord. I am making a room up where you can ask questions and all kinds of goodies. A lot of stuff being rearranged right now, man. Good stuff. Uh, later in biker news, I'm going to be talking about th this one main story. 
and it just pisses all over my Wheaties. Now, it doesn't have anything to do with the club because everybody's going to come back and say you're biased. Okay, I am biased. I admit it. But in this particular case, I don't care what club it is. This is insane. Well, I have a friend in this club, or I have a friend in that club, so I'm going to use that uh, to scare other people. And then what happens? They don't. And then the club's name gets dragged through the freaking newspapers. Because the MSM need that kind of stuff to sell what they are selling. Bullshit. They don't care about checking the story. They don't believe in reaching out to the organization that they are bashing. Sad state of affairs. And by the way, if you're in Illinois, they, I got, uh, what is it, a uh, motorcycle profiling bill just launched last week by Abate. Get on your representatives. This is what we wanted. Start working for it. Don't be a lazy schmuck. So those are the stories that we're going to cover uh, today on the Biker News segment. But first, something very, very interesting. Very interesting. I didn't, you know, I don't know if you know that catalytic converters, there's a whole kinds of friggin' rules on these damn things. And now they have to be stamped and compliant. Now why am I, you know, talking about cars? Well, first, I'm a gearhead. And second, it's going by California standards. And we know how whacked out people in California are. They're the biggest tight asses I've ever met. They come up with all these stupid rules and expect the rest of the country to follow them. Let's read. Auto manufacturers have adopted California's much stricter regulations as the de facto law of the land in their catalytic converter designs. Man, I remember uh, <laughs> when we were younger, freaking, uh, those catalytic converters are worth a lot of money. <laughs> An increasing number of U.S. states have adopted those California Air Resources Board rules for auto and truck emissions. I'm scared to death to hear what they're coming next with uh, motorcycles, man. They got some crazy laws as it is regarding motorcycles over there. What is it? You can't change pipes or something like that? You know what? I was not prepared as much as I thought. I should have looked this up. But I do know that they got some messed up laws over there regarding motorcycles. And I think it's just going to get worse in the next four years because we got Beijing Biden over here. You know, selling out and sucking the PP of China. Going with all this global warming stuff. I won't even get going on that right now. Uh, most recently, effective January 1st, 2021, Colorado joined uh, California. New York, uh, there's a surprise. Hey, you guys are impeaching your governor yet, that murdering prick. And Maine, to become the fourth state to require that catalytic converters installed in any vehicle must be either the original equipment converter or a new aftermarket converter certified to meet C-A-R-B, or CARB, emission standards. Great. More shit. According to CARB regulations, a new aftermarket catalytic converter may be installed when the vehicle is beyond its emissions warranty period and legitimate need for replacement has been established. New vehicles are covered under the federal emissions warranty of 8 years or 80,000 miles and 15 years or 150,000 miles for partial zero emission vehicles, whichever comes first. 
Beyond failure, due to wear and fatigue, reasons for catalytic converter replacement may include damaging uh, results from accidents, cracked or melted, or converter malfunctions. You know what, in Illinois, they got these emission testing. Oh, did I hate living out in the freaking city in the burbs, man. Uh, it seemed like every freaking year you had to do an emission thing. If your light lit up, even a check engine, get the hell out of here. You got to go get it fixed, then come back. They're crazy with this stuff out here. So I moved out west, uh, northern Illinois, and it's like, thank God I don't have to do that stupid shit anymore. Uh, the penalties for not following uh, carb rules are stiff. Fortunately, it's easy to identify a carb-compliant uh, catalytic converter. Uh, they have to be clearly stamped with executive uh, order number issued by the Air Resources Board. Now we have an Air Resource Board. Y you're crazy. Now you're adopting California rules and you're canceling the Muppets. Un freaking real man. When's it ever freaking stop with you people? I don't. I don't get it. You guys seem like you're not getting laid. Is that the problem with you guys? You are not getting laid. Have you been talking to China now, by the way? Cause you know you guys. You seem a little angry. Maybe I need to hire a couple hookers or something to take care of your problems. Because you're making it hell on the rest of us. It always seems like it's the coasts. California, New York. You guys are a bunch of bricks when it comes to your politicians. Asses. Swear to God. We're going to go on to some biker news. As find in the American Heritage Dictionary, second college edition, the noun rock is defined as a relatively rock, hard, naturally occurring material of mineral origin. That's what you get on WMMR. That's not rock. Die with the devil, die with the devil. Now, back to good, wholesome, politically correct entertainment. That biker news intro like reminds me of the like 1980s fucking gay it was back then. <laughs> it was gay. It really was. I remember the original HBO. Oh, come on. Shut up. HBO uh, introduction when a new movie came on. It, it was fun. Anyway, I'm regressing here. Uh, sad state of affairs, this one. Uh, WKRG, Biker Dad, baby. Biker Dad. Gotta love old Chris over there, man. Uh, College Station, Texas. Oh, Texas. Not only are you freaking crazy with your gang uh, enhancement laws and your gang registry uh, database, uh, and your profile, and you're crazy down there, you know, you're holding up people to get their bikes. Nasty business. Police in College Station, Texas, say a biker was robbed at gunpoint. The theft, or the thief stealing a $40,000. Holly. You know what, with that much money, why didn't you have a GPS locator on that sucker? They hide everything. And it's worth the investment. I have a bunch on my bikes. Find out where the prick is. Go and shoot him in the back of the head. That's what they used to do to horse thieves. But they hung them suckers. Uh, it happened Sunday afternoon in the parking lot of a retail store in the area. The bike is a blacked out road glide with the license plate 1684CA. If you know anything, uh, police want you to call 979-764-3600. Pulling a gun on a dude getting his bike. Nasty business. This story we have been covering since its inception, and at least something is getting done. See, I'm so sick and tired, I cry and whine about it all the time about the two sets of standards with law. 
Now, this is a, has to do with that diplomat that killed that kid on a motorcycle because the dumbass was in the wrong lane. You know, I, I think it, it's a little confusing in uh, Britain because they're crazy too. I think they were smoking on some hash or something over there when they made these laws about driving. They drive on the wrong side of the damn road, okay? Admit it. That is some freaky stuff. So anyway, she, she was driving on the wrong side of the road and hit this kid. And she invoked diplomatic immunity. You just killed the kid here. Do the right thing. Take your punishment. But instead, you were a prick and invoked diplomatic immunity. So now, a wrongful death lawsuit filed by the parents of Harry Dunn, who police say died after being hit by a vehicle driven by the wife of a U.S. diplomat. You know, I really think it only, you know, diplomatic immunity should only apply to the diplomat, not their family. It will proceed in Virginia, a federal judge ruled. Uh, the driver, Ann Sakoklis, had asked the judge to demiss the U.S. case to compel Dunn's family to pursue the lawsuit in U.K. courts. Well, the reason why they want them to do it in the U.K. courts is it's unenforceable here in the United States. So not only is she at an insult to injury, she's really being a bitch. No other way of putting it. She admitted to driving on the wrong side of the road when her SUV struck Dunn, who was 19, but she also claimed diplomatic immunity. So she admitted it. So why not step up, man? Give these people some money. You killed their kid. Now you're just being an asshole. Dunn's family filed a lawsuit against her and her husband, Jonathan, in September, seeking a jury trial. They accuse her not only of causing Harry Dunn's death, but also failing to call police or an ambulance. She didn't even call an ambulance, this prick. They also say she fled to the U.S. less than a month after the incident, despite promising to cooperate with the British police investigation. A one for one, I say the Brits, you free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. You know, dude, you know what? That's an attack on freaking uh, the First Amendment here anyway and journalism, which ain't that good any damn way. But, hey, at least you got free speech, but I'm regressing again. Uh, tit for tat. Yeah, that's what I say. Piss off the United States by releasing him. Uh, she has refused to return to the U.K. for either depositions or a trial, and because the U.S. has refused a request to extradite her, the Duns say their only option was to file the lawsuit in Virginia. Sad state of affairs, man. This is freaking insane. You admit you did wrong. You admit you killed a new hu uh, another human being. And you can, you're trying to do everything you can not to face what you need to face. Different tiers of justice. You know, these rich people think they're better than everybody. Oh, he was just a kid on a motorcycle. He's probably a scumbag. Oh, well. Nasty business. Senior U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis the third, the third, denied the motion to dismiss the uh, case in Virginia, citing an obvious inconsistency in the defendant's position regarding the venue and the circumstances. He also said there could well be a need for her to testify in court. And he noted that it's not clear how she would do that if the lawsuit were filed in the UK instead of the United States. The judge concluded the convenience of the parties and the ends of justice are best served by retaining jurisdiction in the case in the Eastern District of Virginia. 
Well, that is good news, ain't it? Very good news. Something's happening. Anyway, I wanted to take a quick look at this one. Over in London, over in the UK. Hey, you know what? Don't be pissed at us about that Revolutionary War thing, okay? Your king at the time was pretty much a prick. So, don't blame us. Blame, you know, the prick. London's biker favorite cafe. You see, they spell everything different over there. They're just like Australia, man. Where'd you guys get your English, man? I, I'm i not good at the English language, man. I, You know what? I, I screw up all the time with my English. Uh, but you guys spell wrong. At least I don't do that. Where you can see Harley Davidson's galore. Ace Cafe survived being bombed in the Second World War. Hey, you guys were our allies during that, so rock on. Uh, so the COVID-19 pandemic won't be a problem. That is a uh, big deal out there, man. It's Like it says here, it's been there since the 30s. Uh, Ace Cafe is more than just one popular watering hole. <laughs> I like how they watering hole. Uh, for bikers in the UK, it's part of the uh, country's history. The cafe opened more than 80 years ago in 1938 to accommodate travelers on the newly built North Circular Road. It is open 24 hours a day. And I, in England, man, don't you guys got some kind of law where kids at 16 can drink? Man, I remember wishing I was 16 at the time and living in Europe. You know, them Germans, man, now they are crazy people. They can drink a beer. And if you ever uh, drank a German beer, like, or Mort, uh, what is that, Mort Runder Ritter or something like that? Anyway, their beer is beer. And ain't all this weak stuff that we have here in the United States, uh, you know, panther piss. It's like a panther went into the bottle and took a piss. You know, that's what Miller Lite uh, reminds me of. See, I was an MGD guy. But Miller Lite, like, panther piss, man. It has no balls behind it like a German beer does. The air raid on nearby Williston Marshalling Yard ended up damaging the cafe, forcing it to close. As resilient and tough as uh, you expect a biker hangout to be, Ace uh, Cafe rebuilt after the airstrike and reopened just under a decade later. Oh, there's the bomb. Bo I mean, during World War II. Pretty cool little freaking uh history here uh the post-war popularity of rock and roll music they probably love elvis over there i know damn well the freaking japanese love freaking elvis uh rise in pop culture and booming biking industry teenagers wanted a place to hang and uh there you go man there there's some pictures hanging in there uh yeah there's a bar kind of looks like a soda fountain type of deal but I guess it's real popular over there. Now, let's talk about this BS crap. I know this person, or I think he has family in this club and that club. It is total horse poopy. It's horse poopy, I tell you. How is it they can even get away with this kind of stuff? Oh, I thought he had this and he had that. Next thing you know, the clubs are like, what the hell are you talking about? And they're put in this newspaper business. The cow raped suspect nabbed in Kentucky. It took a month of sleuthing, but a man wanted on a level three uh, felony rape charge in DeKalb County has been arrested in Kentucky after nearly a year on run. Sex crimes, you freaking people need your nuts cut off and put it in your mouth. Uh, anyway, Christopher Johnston, 30, was arrested by the Kentucky State Trooper Mark Spencer at a residence in Thelma, Kentucky. Uh, he's going through the extradition process so he can be brought to Indiana to face uh, charges. Uh, according to the police affidavit in Superior Court 2, Indiana State Police Detectives uh, Michael Catterall said he was sent to the Parkview Noble Hospital in regard to an alleged rape. Now, I feel good, you know, not good, but feel bad. See, there's that English fuck up. Uh, you know, getting this done. Sad state of affairs. 
Uh, she knew Johnson only through his work as a tattoo. Now, now you're making tattoo artists look like assholes. That ain't cool, man. Not, oh. The women said she took Johnston to work once, but never had a conversation about anything romantic. Earlier in the evening, it talks about the rape and stuff, you know, nasty business there. Uh, let's get to, uh, I probably passed it up here. Let me get to that section. Uh, let's see here. Come on, come on. Give me a break here. It's in here somewhere. Uh... Carol said the woman admitted, she, oh, let's go a little bit up there. Uh, she, he denied uh, placing his hands around the woman's throat, pushing him away or saying no at the, any time. Carol said he believes the woman because she has no reason to lie. She has nothing to gain from telling law enforcement about this event. Uh, Carol said the woman admitted she is very frightened of Carol and what he or one of his family members may do into uh, her in retaliation. There's the key. It's the woman's understanding that Johnston had family members in the Outlaw Motorcycle Club and she witnessed him being violent on the night of the alleged incident. It's the woman's understanding... You heard that, right? That Johnson has family members in the Outlaw Motorcycle Club. Now, Johnson, or Johnston, could have been running around with his mouth, flapping his guns, I know this, I know them, on freaking real. And now, the AOA gets dragged into this business. And they didn't even do nothing because somebody's running their freaking mouth. Serious crime, but I believe nothing to do with the outlaws. And again, I don't care which club you put in this position, it's wrong. And that's why I kind of have problems with supporters of these clubs. I get them all the time, nasty stuff. Nasty words to Hollywood. Anyway, they're running around with all the support gear. Half of them look like candy canes, and the other half, uh, yeah, I'm not going to even go into. And they run, your they run the mouth about the club. And the club probably don't even know them because they bought the support stuff on the internet. They act like they're talking for that damn club. Next thing you know, they go out and do something stupid. Or say, I have family here, or my uh, father was this and that. And now the clubs get drug into this stuff. It's like, what the hell? Stupid people. Stupid. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to save that one for tomorrow. Uh, Comrades Forever donates to a pair of local organizations. Awesome stuff, man. Uh, unable to uh, have most of their usual kind of fundraisers, a moose jaw base group of veterans got together to raise their own funds for a pair of organizations in the city. The Comrades Forever Motorcycle Club were able to do steak nights and poker runs for their fundraiser last year. With that stuff not being able to be done this year and talking to these different organizations that they're really hurting for donations this year to local ones with us a Moose Jaw organization we decided as a group to dip into our own pockets for once rather than trying to raise money. Uh, they donated about $400 to the Moose uh, Jaw Transition House and Riverside Mission. Rock and roll, man. That's awesome stuff, man. It really is awesome stuff. Making sure you got your mask on. Good people. Now, choreographs Wally Shame. Union City Police Officer Arrested After Providing Information to Criminal Enterprises. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. That's what they usually do with the guards, man. You turn out uh, COs. Uh, anyway, I regress. A Union City Police Officer is suspended without pay after being arrested and charged with illegally assessing a criminal justice database. Wesley Hernandez, 29, of Clifton, was charged with computer theft, a second-degree crime, when he turned himself into authorities. 
Uh, Suarez said Hernandez assessed the Criminal Justice Information Service database on various dates and obtained information for purposes other than those, than those used as a cop. Upon confirming involvement, and later that day, we contacted the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office of Internal Affairs. We cooperated with the Prosecutor's Office investigation and placed the officer on administrative leave. During the investigation, in light of today's charges, the officer will be suspended without pay. Huh. Prick. Get your most unbiased and trusted biker news now at HarleyLiberty.com. Founded in 2012, Insane Throttle Biker News has been the place that all bikers come for what's happening in the scene. Go over now and bookmark HarleyLiberty.com. Rock on. Rock on, man. Rock on. HarleyLiberty.com. Get your butts over there. Get them over there, will you, man? And check out the news. We got a bunch of other news that is not on uh, the show here. Uh, we're going to continue into the next half hour exclusively over at WMMRDB. Uh, yeah, Rockford, baby. Yeah, that is the radio station. We're going to have some cool tunes coming up and some uh, different news. So get on over there and check us out. If you're on YouTube and Facebook and all that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm switching over to the radio.